Cowboys pick 27th tomorrow night in the first round of the NFL draft. Former Cowboy Tony Casillas with us tonight. The number two overall pick in 1986. You know what? Every time I come in here, you're always looking to get a jab. <laughs> no. Yes, it has been a long time ago, 1986. But nevertheless, behind guess who? Bo Jackson. Nice. Right? Very nice. And Chuck Long of Iowa should have won the Heisman that year. We'll oh, get yeah, it. throw some Iowa in here. Remember that, remember that day, though, that, that night when you, uh, when you were – did, did you go where you thought you'd go? Uh yeah, I, I had a I had an inkling of that I ended up going to Atlanta, but uh, you know I always think the draft is all about uh, you know dreams come true or dreams being shattered, and obviously I had an opportunity to, to go second in the draft, and and so I think that uh, you had that anxiety. There's not enough certainty until they actually call your name to actually know. Look. This is my dream, and I have an opportunity to play in the NFL. Cowboys uh, hoping to make some dreams uh, come true on uh, on Thursday, their own specifically, because they let DeMarco Murray yeah. go to Philadelphia. McFadden is there, but obviously they need some more help in the backfield. Do you think if Gordon of Wisconsin or Gurley of Georgia is there, could you see them even reaching up a little bit to uh, to try to get a running back in the well, first round? I think that's one thing good about the draft is kind of jockeying and see what's there in the second round. I think there's so many running backs in this draft this year, Mike, so. So there may be a tendency to back off, but how about T.Y. Yeldon, the running back from Alabama? That's been a name. But, yes, I think they want to address that position of running back. Yeah, Yeldon or uh, Indiana's Tevin Coleman you hear about possibly in the second round. Cowboys need a lot of defensive help, obviously. D-line, linebacking core, cornerbacks. Uh, where, where would you start there, all things being equal, with, with uh, going after early picks anyway? Well, I think they're close on the defensive line. And when I say that, I think that they're building the platoon of guys. They want to get the eight-man rotation the guys have on the roster now and then adding Greg Hardy. I think they're close there. So I think, again, it's a draft that has a lot of defensive line, maybe Malcolm Brown. But let's, let's face it, their secondary really – got uh, pretty much exploited this year because of the lack of being able to cover. So I think if you look around and, and, and you get that 27 pick, I don't know if they're going to use that because there may be guys in the later on the pick, but I think you got to address the corner and then from there, defensive line. Yeah, Byron Jones, a corner from UConn, is a name you're hearing a lot there. News conference the other day, Jerry Jones praised Stephen Jones more than I think I've ever heard him do publicly. Is it clear now that Stephen, maybe even more than Jerry, has – the loudest voice in the uh, the Cowboys front well, office. Well, he may have the loudest voice, but uh, ultimately, I think it's a collective decision. But I think not only Stephen Jones, I think Jason Garrett are more on the same page. But yes, I mean Jerry's not a young guy now. I think Stephen Jones has been groomed for this position, so he's making the decision, and rightly so. I think he's earned it, and I think he has a lot of respect throughout the NFL as a football guy. Always great having Tony Casillas in. You see him during the season. Nice to have you in as we prepare for the draft here. Tomorrow night, I'm Mike Ducey, Fox 4 Sports.